Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you today, Vladimir? Bien, cansado, pero bien. Fine, tired. Fine, tired, sí. yes. Okay, did you work today? Yes, every day. Oh, you work every day. Yes. Okay, uh, how are you doing with the platform? Más o menos, todavía no terminado. ¿En qué sección va? En las cinco, pero llevo solo como cuatro ejercicios. Ah, pero va bien, va bien. El problema es que fuera atrasado, pero está bien. Uh -huh. Sí, pues ahí estamos, okay. intentando. ¿Ya completaron los papeles de inscripción? Todavía no, es que en el banco me están solicitando que les mande el diploma de cuando ya haya terminado. Oh, pero ya están casi que cerrando el proceso. Uh -huh. Sí, quizá, según me, me comunicaron, tengo hasta el 24 para, para este, enviarles el diploma y que logre entrar en la siguiente inscripción. Ah, eh, mm, bueno, la información que nos mandaron es diferente. Dice que la última fecha para inscribirse es el 20. Voy a averiguar bien, no vaya a ser que se quede afuera, porque si es para el 20, eh, tiene que terminar luego la plataforma y ya le falta poquito. Sí, yo de hecho el día de mañana, por la mañana iba a terminarlo. Ya. Ajá, porque al terminar la plataforma usted hace el examen final y ahí en, en el progreso, ahí usted mismo descarga e imprime el certificado. Sí, cabal. Ajá, y para que ya le, le habiliten y no se vaya a quedar fuera. Esa es la idea, esa es la idea de seguir. Ok, ¿y los demás? Mayra. Hola, buenas noches, Chen. Hello, good night. Uh, wow, good evening. <ríe> se me cruzaron los cables. <ríe> sí, este, a mí también todavía me falta este para terminar la plataforma, pero pero sí, este, ya mañana me pongo ahí a propósito terminar. Pues. Ah, ok, ¿y con los papeles de inscripción? Eh, como ahí de recursos humanos, eh, Cris ya se hace ese, ese, esa inscripción. Ah, Nosotros okay. le enviamos certificado y, y ella hace la inscripción. Ajá, sí, tienen que hacerlo en esta semana para que no se vayan a quedar fuera. Sí, así, así. Uh -huh. Gracias. Y Patricia, ¿cómo va? Hola, buenas noches. Eh, ya realizando el examen ya del, del último nivel, ya casi por terminar. Creo que hoy lo termino en la noche. Vaya, ok. Sí, porque nosotros recibimos una información que hasta el 20 es el último día para inscribir. Uh -huh. Bueno, fíjense que igual como vamos con los compañeros, el, el 24 nos han mandado la información, entonces creo que por esa razón no hemos terminado todo, porque tenemos hasta el 24, pero bueno, yo igual ahora termino la, este, completar todo el examen para mandar el, la imagen del, del, del diploma. Sí, cualquier cosa escriban si tienen problemas con los ejercicios para poder este, ayudarles a verificar qué pasa. Ok, de acuerdo. Muchas gracias. Ok. Well, uh, for today we have some vocabulary. We're going to start the section number five and this vocabulary about sports. Uh, I'm sure that you have some vocabulary. What sports do you know in English? Any a sport that you know in English? Soccer? Basketball. Basketball? Soccer. Soccer, basketball, uh-huh. Volleyball. Volleyball, uh -huh. it's an English word, it's an English sport. Um, volleyball. Football soccer. 
Okay, soccer. Baseball. Baseball, yes, uh-huh. Okay, I have a presentation for you to have more vocabulary on this topic. Um, vocabulary about a sport is going to be useful. I hope so. Okay, we have the sports and competitions. This is the vocabulary uh, we're going to start with for today. Um, let's see, the first one is... Volleyball. Yes, as we previously is volleyball. Next picture. Football, American, American football. football. Uh huh. Basketball. 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 Handball. Handball. Tennis. Tennis. Cycling. Okay. Uh, repeat, cycling. 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 Gymnastic. 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 Surf. Surf. Surfing. Surfing. Okay. Surfing. Diving. 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 Swimming. 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 Okay. Swimming. What about this one is? Fishing. 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 Skating. 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 Uh-huh, skating. Weightlifting es levantamiento de pesas. Weightlifting. Weightlifting. Then this one, ice hockey is very famous in the United States. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Skin. 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 Climbing. 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 Uh huh. Climbing. Baseball. 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 Horse racing. Horse racing. Horse racing. Horse racing. Athletics. 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 Yo. Uh -huh. Judo. Judo. Um, chess. 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 chess, chess, ajedrez, chess, chess, chess. Okay. Well, that's the vocabulary I had for today. Now. In the states, it depends on uh, some sports are uh, related to some seasons. And this is what you have in the platform. Okay. What sports do you play? 
What sports do you play, Stella? Um, I play basketball. Okay. Only basketball? Um, um, I go swimming. Okay. Oh. Only. <laughs> Good. Can you ask the question to another classmate? Yes. Uh, Blanca, what sport do you play? I... Uh, soccer play. Okay. Ask to another classmate. Uh, What what sport do you play, Vladimir? I play I am play um, soccer, basketball, swimming, and judo. Okay. Okay. Ask another classmate. Hágale la pregunta a otro compañero. What sports do you play? Ok, ahí tenemos a más compañeros. Estela. A Clarisa, Blanca, Estela. Are you there? ¿Están ahí? Estela, Estela. Okay, I play basketball and I go swimming. Okay, continue, Stella. Ask another classmate. Okay. What sport do you play, Patricia? I play soccer. Only soccer? In mm, I play. Basketball. Okay, ask another classmate. Mayra, what sport do you play? I play soccer. Has everybody participate? O nos falta alguien más? Me. Okay, what sport do you play? Um, I play in the gym with the machine. Uh, cardio? Yes. Or weightlifting? ¿Qué hace? Cardio o levanta pesas? Cardio. Aerobic. Only cardio. Cardio, aerobics. Um, sobre todo aerobics. Okay, aerobics. That's nice. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we have the question that we practice. What sports do you play? And well, it has a the snapshot or the we have sports and seasons. Do you know seasons? What is the meaning of seasons? Como estaciones. estaciones. Las estaciones, ajá, ¿cuáles son? Spring, Spring winter, summer, fall, winter, winter, fall. Ajá, excellent. Son spring, spring es? Verano. No, spring. Otoño. Como primavera. Ajá, exacto. Spring es? Primavera. Esta que está acá es primavera. Spring. Summer. Esta que está acá. Summer es verano. verano. Fall es otoño. 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 Y winter. Invierno. 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 Excellent. So uh, let's listen to the audio and then we're going to practice. Okay. Okay. Unit 10. What sports do you play? Page 64, exercise 1. Snapshot. 
Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. Listen and practice. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, and play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Okay, do you have any question about vocabulary? Snowboarding que es? Okay, snowboarding es este, es um... Como en patineta. Ajá, es Pero la... nieve. Pero de nieve, es esta que está acá, snowboarding. La gente patina con patineta, pero especial para nieve, patineta de nieve. That's snowboarding. Y ese que dice hiking. No sé si se dice. Hiking. Okay. okay, hiking es el que vimos en la presentación, es escalar. Oh, okay. Ajá, escalar como de escalar montañas. That's hiking. Okay. Any other question about vocabulary? No. No. Okay, let's repeat. In the spring, people play golf. In the spring, the spring, in the spring people play golf. Play, golf. play soccer. Play soccer. Play basketball. Play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball. In the summer, people play baseball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Go swimming. Go swimming. In the fall, people play football. In the fall, people play football. Go bike riding. Go bike riding. Go hiking. Go, go hiking. hiking. In the winter, people play hockey. In the winter, winter, winter people, people play, play hockey. Go ice skating. Go ice skating. Go snowboarding. Go, go snowboarding. snowboarding. Okay. Well, then we have a conversation related to this topic is I love sports. Uh -huh. We have the conversation, I love sports. As you can see here, we have um, a lady and a gentleman, they are speaking while well, they are talking about sports. Let's listen to the conversation and analyze the vocabulary. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, do you have any question about vocabulary? No question. Okay, I'm going to play the conversation one more time. And then I'm going to pause so you can repeat it, okay? Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Now is your turn. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Okay, more time. 
So, Justin, what are you doing in your free time? So, so Justin, what, what do you do in your free, free, time? Time? free time? Well, I love sports. Well, I love, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? really? Sports do you like? like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. My favorites, My favorites are, are hockey, 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 hockey baseball, and soccer. And soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Wow. wow. You are really an athlete. athlete. You play in the place all year sport. Okay. Uh, remember, athlete. Athlete. Uh -huh. When do you play all these sports? When do you when play do all these sports? Uh, this sport. Uh -huh. This. This yeah, sport. This sport. Where do this you play sport. all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh, what do you mean? I... Oh, oh, I don't oh, play I don't sport. play this sport. sport. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Sport. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. I squash. I just on TV. On TV. Are you? Are you watching them? Oh my gosh! What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh huh. When you ask someone, what do you mean? Es que quiere decir? What do you mean? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I, I just watch I them just on TV. Watch them TV. Uh huh. Solo los veo en televisión. I just watch them on TV. I just watch them. I just watch on them TV. on TV. I just watch them on TV. Okay. Now let's try to repeat. Vamos a intentar uh, repetirla un poco más rápido. Um, escuchamos y, y leemos rapidito, sin detenernos tanto en cada palabra. Let's do it. Uh, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Well, yeah, I, love I, love sports. I love sports. I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? Yeah. What sports do you, you, sport you, sport you like? like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. My favorites are hockey, baseball, baseball and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, you are a really, really good athlete. Good athlete. When do you play all these sports? When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. Oh, oh, I don't play, I don't play, play this sport. I don't play this, this, this sport. What do you mean? What, what do, do you mean? mean? I just watch them on TV. I, I just watch, watch them, them on, TV. on TV. TV. All right. Very good job. Now I'm going to send you the picture of the conversation so you can practice in groups. Let me send you the picture. And then I'm going to create the group sections. Uh, sports, sports, sports. Okay. Uh, there. Two. Okay, there you have the conversation. Now I'm going to create the section group so you can practice with your classmates. Remember to click join or unirse.
Yeah. Okay, al revés. So, Justin, what do you what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch the home TV. Okay, boy, soy Laura. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you are really good athletic. <laughs> when do athlete. you play? Athlete. <laughs> athlete. Yeah, athlete. perfect. When, Continue practicing. Well, when do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. Do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Este... Sí me cuesta demasiado el vocabulario. <risa> Una vez más. Todavía. <risa> Empieza okay. usted o empiezo yo. Bueno. Empiezo yo. Ok. So, you think, what do you, what, what do, you do, do in your free time? Yes. What do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow. You are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sport. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Bien. <laughs> Ahora empieza usted. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are, are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. Well done. What do you mean? What do you Okay, you finish your practice. I heard some of you and you're doing well. Excellent. Now I would like to listen to you one more time, but let us wait to the rest of you to finish. I have some of you who haven't finished. We're going to wait a little. Finished? Okay, everybody is here again. I heard you were doing a very, very good job. 
Now the question is, uh, do I have some volunteers to practice one more time? Me. Okay, it's Clarissa and another volunteer to practice with Clarissa. Me. Okay, Blanca. Okay. Okay, uh, Clarissa, you start. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love your sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you are really good athlete. When, when do you play all this sport? Oh, I do not play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Excellent job. Well done. You did excellent. Another Thank you. volunteers? Very good. Good job. Another two volunteers? Another two? Another two volunteers? No hay más. Ok. <laughs> Los escuché, eh, hicieron un muy buen trabajo y gracias a los que lo acaban de hacer, Blanca y Clarissa, very good job. Um, well, so we're going to continue with the WH questions. Can you identify the WH questions in these conversations? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, that's a WH question. Another? What sport do you like? What sport do you like? Uh huh. Another. Uh, when did you play all this sport? When do you play all this sport? Uh huh. Those are the WH questions in the simple present. And that is the topic that we're going to practice today. Uh, es un tema que ya hemos visto, pero no está de más. Ahora lo vamos a ver con otro. En, en otro entorno, o sea, hablando de los deportes. Um, so we gonna, para los que no han llegado a esta parte de la plataforma, vamos a ver el video para ver how to find WH questions. Um, here we have the video from the platform. So let's check it out. practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus 
do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, do you consider that you could write some WH questions or is it too difficult? I know sometimes it's really difficult to formulate our own questions. So I would like you to uh, form your own questions. Es difícil porque casi no lo practicamos. Entonces, es fácil preguntarle y que me responda lo que ya está en el libro. What sport do you like? When do you play? Um, Etc. Pero podríamos hacer... I algo? like basketball. Ok, excelente. Ahora, ¿podrían ustedes escribir unas tres WH questions? Puede ser siempre relacionadas a los deportes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, try. Remember. Quiero ver si se acuerdan cómo. WH questions about the sport. Sin ver las que what, ya están ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> what do you like sport? Mm, mm. What mm, or why? Okay. Why? Ah, why? Porque why do you like a sport? That's okay, uh -huh. ¿Por qué te gustan los deportes? ¿Por qué? Why do you like sports? Mm -hmm. where, where do you like? No, where do you practice? Where do you practice? Uh -huh. Where do you practice a sport? Uh -huh. Okay, another. 
¿Y los demás? Mm. Who do you practice sport with? Who do you practice sport with? Okay. Okay. Let's try it with that different material. Maybe um, we can practice formulating WH questions. Okay. We have this. I have this material for you. Now, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to fill in the blanks to complete the sentences or the questions. Aquí ya tienen la WH word. Ustedes tienen que completar, leer aquí. Por ejemplo, la 1 está hecha para que la tomen como ejemplo. Dice, Thomas studies English at college. La pregunta con la que la WH word inicia con where. Ok, la oración me dice que Thomas estudia inglés en la universidad. Ahora, para preguntar sería, ¿a dónde, a dónde estudia Thomas? Where does Thomas study? Mm -hmm. Now, her friend lives in London. Hagamos la pregunta. Her friend lives in London. Where? Where does? Where does? Her friend. Her friend. Live. Sin ese, ¿verdad? En la pregunta no agregamos ese. Ok, excelente. Where does? Her friend live. Where does her friend live? Ok, ya hicimos number one and two. Les voy a dar un tiempito para que escriban las demás en su cuaderno. Susan studies math. Eva lives in New York. Uh, his brother always gets up at six o'clock in the morning, etc. Ok, I'll give you time for you to write the questions in your notebook.
Finished. Have you finished? Not finished yet. Have you finished? Have you finished? Okay, um, let's see a uh, volunteer here. Blanca, do you have number four, Blanca? Uh, not la hice, pero no sé si están bien. Sería... Uh, who, who doesn't Eva live? Who does Eva live? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Who does Eva live? Ok, good job. Clarisa, do you yo la hice them? diferente. Okay. Eh, yo hice Who does live en Nueva York? Ajá, uh -huh, yo también así la hice. En Nueva York. That's okay too. Uh -huh. Ok. Es otra posibilidad. Ajá, uh -huh. y otra era ponerle a uh, who. Who does or who. Uh -huh. Or who lives in New York? Who lives? Who does live in New York? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's another positivity. 
Now in number five, what do you have? When? When does? When does his brother get up in the morning? Yes, that's the answer. Now number six. Who does good work by bus? Who does? How does? Good the work by bus. Ok, acordémonos que how significa de cómo, de qué manera, de qué forma. Entonces, la oración okay. es using go to work. Go to work, hasta ahí sería. Uh -huh. How does Mr. Brown go to work? ¿Cómo llega Mr. Brown al trabajo? How does Mr. Brown go to work? Now, number seven. What does? What does sell apples? Y el sujeto. What does? What does it supermarket sell? Uh -huh. What does the supermarket sell? Uh -huh. ¿Qué vende el supermercado? What does the supermarket sell? And uh, number eight. Where do, where do they travel to the countryside? Mm, sería... Okay. The usual travel, no. Where? Ajá, uh -huh. tenemos un problema ahí. Ok, la oración me está diciendo que ellos usualmente viajan al, al lado del campo. En los días festivos. Festivos. Uh -huh. Ajá, holidays son los festivos o feriados. Entonces, where? Luego el auxiliar para they sería? Uh, do. Do. Where do they? They. Travel. Travel. Usually. O pueden ponerle usually. Where do they usually travel? Y le pueden omitir el usually también. Se vale de las dos formas. Where okay. do they usually travel? On holidays. On holidays. On holidays. Ajá, porque la respuesta es que van al, al, al que lado. Van al campo. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Richard is a teacher. He teaches English. What? Number nine. What, what, does, what does Richard A teacher. Is a teacher. Teach. Ajá. Teach. Okay. El verbo teach. Enseñar. Ajá. ¿Qué enseña Richard? What does Richard teach? What does Richard teach? Ajá. Now, the last one. La última. This bus goes to the shopping mall. Where does? Where does? It's bus. This bus, go. Ajá, ¿a dónde va este bus? Where does this bus go? Uh -huh. Hasta ahí sería, ¿a dónde va este bus? Uh -huh. Where does this bus go? Okay, good job. Now, as I told you, uh, this is practice. Lo hicieron muy bien para hacer... Um, Primera vez que se ponen a formular así preguntas, necesitamos más práctica. Vamos a seguir practicando esto el día de mañana, pues ya se nos terminó el tiempo. So, thank you for joining the class today. Remember, recuerden de llenar sus papeles, tienen hasta el 20. Y ya tienen que tener uh, por lo menos al día la plataforma. Ok, y en caso que en la empresa o le estén pidiendo el certificado, entonces tienen que terminar antes del 20 para que se puedan inscribir. Y cualquier cosa, duda con los ejercicios, pueden escribir para poderles ayudar. Ok. 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 okay. Thank you. Uh, sleep well and see you tomorrow.
See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. night. Good night.